So weight gain is going well. I've gained another five pounds. I weigh 73 kilos right now. But I got an injury. I got a tennis elbow on both arms. I did that with a bullworker exercise. That's right. I got this injury from using the bullworker. But it's still my own fault. Because if you use correct form, then you won't have to suffer the same fate as I have. I knew about this. I forgot about it. And now I have to pay the price. The bullworker is usually a very safe device. This is one of the reasons that many older people use it. Because it is so very light on the joints. But if you don't use correct form, no matter with what device you use, you can sustain an injury. So that's what I'm going to discuss uh, today. Now, be just because older people use it doesn't mean that it's not interest an interesting device for younger people. Obviously it is, as I am a younger pre person. And but, yeah, uh, like uh, it's a very effective device for wrestlers, for example. I wrestlers uh, are very fond of it and uh, strength athletes as well. I know that Bruce Lee has used it and I think that he was very fond of it. I don't know exactly what his stance on it was, but there was a reason that he owned one. So, here's the thing. What I did wrong was this. I was doing this exercise and what I was doing is I kept my um, elbows at this angle. Now, usually if you do this exercise, the angle doesn't really matter. Although there is one thing that matters, but I'll get to that in a second. This one, however, it is very important that you keep your elbows at the same height as the ball worker. Right? That way, um, you don't get the same pressure on your um, tendons. Right? So that's very important. The, this is the most sustained injury you can get with the bull walker is um, from keeping your um, elbows at an incorrect angle and uh, doing this exercise. So keep that in mind. It's very simple and it's a very easy way to make sure that you're not hurting your elbows. Actually, it's good if you do it at this angle because you actually make the um, exercise more intense this way. Like this is a lot harder than this. Now, if you do want to train the inside of your chest and you don't want, and you want to train that at different angles, then I recommend you to do this exercise. Instead of grabbing these things here, the handles, grab these cables here and just pull inwards. And just keep it low, right? Let's pull it together like this. Very effective for, for your chest. Um, at all angles. Right, you don't have to worry about your um, elbows if you use this one. But this exercise very important that you keep it at a uh, shoulders height, or at least at the same height as your elbows. There's another thing, and that is regarding the wrists. Um, I think also for this exercise, you want to make sure that your el uh, that your wrists are steady. Right? You don't want them like this. You don't want them like this either. You want to have them like this. Steady and, um, you know, immovable. Especially for this exercise. Right? For these type of exercises. And the angle doesn't really matter, but it is important that you keep your wrists steady. Your wrists are not supposed to be very movable when there's a lot of force involved. This is one of the reasons that you can easily in, uh, injure your wrists if you are punching on a boxing bag. If your wrists aren't steady and you punch against something and your wrist moves, then you can injure your wrists. Now, you can train your wrists a little bit by doing this exercise. But this is an exercise where not a lot of force is involved. Um, but here, there is a lot of force involved. With this, there is a lot of force involved, so you have to be careful. Now, let's say that you were too late and you saw this video after you've gotten an injury. Then I'd say it's very important that you're not gonna do this exercise for a while. I'm definitely not going to do it for the next week. 
We are not talking about injured muscles, we are talking about injured tendons. Those need a little bit more time to recover. So for me, a young person, I'm not going to do this exercise for at least a week. Plenty of other exercises that I can do in the meantime. I mean, I can still easily do this. I'll do even that, I would say, be a little bit careful because, again, all your tendons can get injured from doing uh, this exercise, this one incorrect. So, yes, uh, it, it's not going to help now <laughs> by doing this correctly. If I were to do that, I would only worsen my injury. So keep that in mind. Don't um, j just take rest. All right, just let your tendons recover. Your tendons have suffered enough, and they deserve a proper recovery. So, as far as I know, there's not much more to it. This is important. This is important for the safety when you use the bulwarker, no matter at what age you are. Obviously, because even I sustained an injury. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.